All right, the Toll Road is here today with... Road Trip. And we are at the U.S. Grant Birthplace, which was, what is he, the 18th? 18th. 18th. If we both agree on that, yeah, you might want to check that. Let's see what we got in store, because you better buckle up. We're about ready to take a ride on the toll road. All right, let's check out what's inside. Oh, no, you're not closing on me, are you? Oh. All right. I am filming here. You're not camera shy, are you? No. Too late. You're already on camera. <laughs> Uh, is Good this idea. where you collect the big bucks from us? Yep. All right, here's our tour guy here on the toll road. Uh, what's your name, sir? Greg. Greg, nice to meet you. And uh, This is Dave, and I'm Rich. No one cares who you are, Rich. <laughs> uh, so what do you got to tell us here about uh, Grant's birthplace? All right, so Grant was born in this home on April 27th, 1822, and it was him and his two parents that lived here. And uh, his five other siblings were born after they moved to Georgetown in 1823. Which Georgetown's just down the road from here, right? Yeah, about 35 minutes 35 or so. 35 minutes, okay. And uh, so it was just the three of them in that one room that was built in 1817. This room right here? Yep. So it was just a little one room? room? Yep. That's it? Yep. When did the additions to the other uh, uh, additions to the house, you know, further additions to yep. the house. Well, there's not um, much else here, though. You see, I mean, you got this room, that yep. room, yeah. and um, this home became a museum in uh, 1936, and uh, it was after that that they were added. And the house itself was actually taken off its foundation and put on steamboats uh, up to Columbus because um, more people would go there to see it. They took it to the fairgrounds. Okay. And uh, they brought it back in 1936 and it became a museum here. Now, how long was it up in Columbus? Uh, it would have been there for about 50 years or so. Oh, wow, for a long time then. Okay. Yeah. And uh, a lot of this stuff is just period pieces or the types of things they would have had. Um, but there are a few things that are original. At the foot of the bed here was his father's chest that he made and used. Um, he was a tanner, so he worked with leather. And um, that's actually why they moved from here. He saved up enough money to build his own tannery business. And uh, his initials were Jesse Root Grant, so those are his initials. And uh, he would keep documents and things like that in there. And uh, the clothing on the wall, um, the two pieces on the left end, the nightgown and the shawl, um, were his mother's, so they would be original. Oh, those are actually his mother's pieces there. Awesome. Yep. And uh, in this corner chest over here um, was a wedding gift to his parents uh, from his mother's family, so it would be original. Hey, we were arguing on the way, well, we actually agreed with each other, so we're probably wrong. Was he the 18th president? Yes. Yes, he was. First time ever, Rich, we're right, yeah. <laughs> and um, this was their bed, um, had ropes underneath, and uh, the mattress was a cloth sack stuffed with hay, and uh, the pillow was also stuffed with hay. And uh, they would have to exchange that out about every six months or so, because bugs could get in it. And uh, they would have to tighten the ropes also because um, they Start would loosen get, the, get the sag going yep. after a while. And that's why they say sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Ah, okay, it's tight and bed bugs, that makes sense. I always heard the rope bed is very comfortable to sleep on. Okay. I'm gonna uh, have to take your word on that. Well, I don't think I, I'm gonna... My aunt had one. She had one. And I don't think I'll stick with the Stearns like and Foster. high off the ground. It was really, I mean, tall. So the other pieces here, they're uh, just, like I said, period pieces. That... Yes. Yep.
months old uh, when they moved. Uh, his parents rented this from 1821 till 1823. Now the, the house in Georgetown, where well, you said he had five other yep. brothers and sisters? Yep. How much bigger is, is that home than, than this one here? I actually haven't been inside of there in about 10 years or so, mm -hmm. but uh, from the outside, um, it looks a lot bigger. Right. They all and all that stuff? Yep. Okay. Yep, they're open uh, noon to five, Wednesdays through Saturdays. From uh, later in his life, uh, when he was in the military, when he was president, and when he died, he died in New York City at the age of 63 from throat cancer. Rich, do you know who's buried in uh, Grant's tomb? I don't know. Right? <laughs> um, there's actually uh, nobody's buried in it. It, it was just a memorial. What, so actually, where is he buried? Um, you know? I, he's, from what I recall, he's buried um, somewhere near there, uh, but I don't know the name of the specific spot. So it's kind of like an unmarked, keep it. Yeah, I think that it's like, I think it's like secured by something. Kind of like what they did with uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln. Oh yeah, they and had they to. Had, uh, before he had uh, his uh, museum built or his library built, he was in this little uh, thing. People kept trying to steal his body or whatever. Yeah. And they finally moved it up. So I guess. Got a little locket of his hair here too, huh? Now, I'm assuming, and please tell me I'm right, this, this hair did come from his head, right? Yes. Okay. It was uh, after he died. All right, that's going to conclude our tour of U.S. Ulysses S. Grant's birthplace. Uh, quick tour, small one-room thing, but it's only three bucks. A little bit of history. Yeah, it's informative, you know. What else can you do with three bucks? I can't think of anything. And what, a half hour time? Oh, uh, if that, yeah. I mean, you want to stare at stuff a little longer, I guess you could do that, but you could get in and out half hour pretty easily. So it's right across, it's right on 52 Main Road, right by the uh, Ohio uh, River. So check it out sometime, and who knows where the toll road will lead to next. See ya.